Hey everybody, it's Coach Mary and I'm super excited to bring you a workout that you can do at your home. All that you're going to need is a chair, so let's get started. So for the start of today's workout, we're going to be doing what I like to call super supersets. Traditional supersets usually have two movements in them. We're going to do sets of three different movements. So we're going to do the number of reps that I'm going to tell you. It'll be listed in the comments right down there. And we are going to start with some upper body. So the first move we're going to do is push-ups. Now, you can do push-ups a bunch of different ways. I always like to modify the movements so that anybody at any fitness level can do them. So for push-ups, you want to have your hands right underneath your shoulders, a nice straight line from your toes all the way to the top of your spine. We're going to drop down and up, down and up. We're going to do this for eight reps. A modification to make this movement easier, you can drop to your knees, down, up, down, up, or if you want to make it harder, grab a chair, put your feet up, down, up, down, up. Remembering to keep your hands underneath your shoulders. The next move we're going to do is 10 back scratchers. Kind of lie flat on the ground, put your hands out in front of you. To start this movement, you're going to pull your, put your arms up and pull your legs up, and you're going to pull your arms back. Hands go right to your shoulders. We're going to do this for 10 minutes. Make sure you're lifting up that chest with each movement. The next move we're going to do is shoulder taps, eight on each side. Keep a nice tight core throughout this exercise and try not to let your body sway side to side. So we're doing eight push-ups, we're doing 10 back scratchers, and we're doing eight and eight shoulder taps. Go ahead and go through that set of exercises three times, remembering when you finish a set, pause for 30 to 60 seconds before beginning your next one. The first move in our ab super super set is gonna be plank walkout. Stay with your feet, hip distance apart, and start in an upright position. You're going to drop your hands to the ground and walk out into a plank. Then you're gonna walk back. Stand all the way up, that's one. We're gonna do eight of those. I'll show it to you again. Bend down, touch the ground, walk out into a plank, and walk back up. Next, we're gonna do sit-ups. 10 of these. Hands behind your ears, you're gonna sit up, keeping your feet flat on the ground. Now, you can put your feet underneath the couch, you can have your friends sit on them for you, Actually, don't do that. That's not good social distancing. So put them under the couch. At one point with sit-ups, you really want to make sure that you're not pulling your neck with your hands. Imagine there's an apple in between your chin and your chest, and keep that distance as you go through the movement. Next move we're going to do is butt-ups. We're going to do eight of these. Put your feet straight up in the air, hands at your side, head relaxed on the ground, and as you might expect, we're going to lift the butt up. One, two, three. Very simple movements, do eight of those. So, that's our second super super set. Eight plank walkouts, 10 sit-ups, and eight butt-ups. Go through that three times, remembering to rest 30 to 60 seconds in between each set. For our next super set, we're gonna be using a chair. I have a nice block here. You can use a kitchen chair for this, you can use an ottoman, maybe even a coffee table if it's sturdy enough. If you're doing this workout and you live with your parents, you might wanna ask them before you do that. So, first move we're gonna do in our leg super super set, we are going to do step ups, five on each side. So start with your left leg, step up, step down with the right leg. Left leg comes up, step down with the right leg. Do that five times on the left side before switching. Right leg steps up, step down with the left leg. Right leg steps up, step down with the left leg. The next move we're gonna do for eight reps is a glute bridge. Lie down, bring your heels in pretty close to your buttocks, hands at your side. You're going to scoop your pelvis in and then push your hips all the way up into the air. Roll down your spine and release your pelvis. Scoop the hips in, press up, roll down, and relax. Eight of those. The next move that we're going to do is side raises. You're going to do 10 on each side. So start sitting down on the ground like this. When you bring your shoulder down or your elbow down, make sure that it's in alignment with your hips. Place your head in front of you. You want to bend that bottom leg and stick the top leg out so that it hits about mid shin. So, you are going to raise it up like so. And we are going to do 10 of these on each side. Go ahead and get started on that super set. You're going to be doing 10 step ups, five on each side. Then you're gonna be doing eight glute bridges. And then you're gonna be doing 10 side raises, 10 on each side. So it's actually 20. But three times through, remember, 30 to 60 seconds in between each set. All right, everybody, we're at the end of our super, super sets, and now it's time for a little fun cardio session. I'm gonna give you an AMRAP. 
You can choose how many minutes you want to go for, but you have to go for five minutes at the very least. So, here are your movements. Five burpees. Five tough jumps. Five steel jacks. And finally, 10 super rolls. Wouldn't recommend doing this on a coffee table. And that is your workout, everybody. Remember, you have to do at least five minutes of that AMRAP. And if you do more than five minutes, write it in the comments so I can see how you are absolutely crushing this fit life while we are not all at the gym together. We hope you're having a great week. We hope that you are staying motivated, hope that you're staying positive, sending you all the good vibes, and we will see you back at the gym soon.